Suicide Squad. No, I mean THE Suicide Squad. Actually, I only made the first version of Harley Quinn. Hello, I am ZW and I turn people into figurines. But I have some sad news to announce. There will not be any Z brushing today, only hand brushing. Basically, I'm not sculpting because someone has done it for me. Hot Toys. I mean, a knockoff of Hot Toys, which is pretty crappy, so we will be ripping it apart and hopefully make something better out of it. Okay, let's see what's salvageable from this $60 piece of crap, or if I've wasted my bucks. Obviously, this is a statue, and if you're not familiar with this channel, we don't do statues. We want hyper-realistic, clothed mini-celebrities that we can manipulate and pose according to our deepest, darkest desires. So I bought a seamless body, but that's for later, you pervs. We gotta get as much as we can from this knockoff. Lucky for us, China is feeling awfully generous, and they gave us real cloth for the top. And from the looks of it, we are getting a lot of accessories as well. So all I had to do was to find her bottom? And thanks to other pervy manufacturers, we got Harley Bikinis. Which is essentially what she wore during the movie, right? Over some stockings. This is so easy. Honestly, it is better than I expected. Now, we just need the belt. And I think that's the only thing left. So we can't back down now. We need to cut it out. Ta-da! Okay, it's not as hard as it looks. It's just a lot of patience. Well, we have certainly squeezed this thing dry. So now let's take a look at the head sculpt. This is where I refuse to compromise on quality. This head from the statue is just too horrible that it wouldn't benefit from a repaint. So I bought another one, also a recast but slightly bigger. That's the nature of recastings. Each time you make a mold to make a copy, the copies will be smaller than the originals. So if I were to compare this head to a Hot Toys head sculpt, it will probably be smaller. Which is also the case for this second head, Another recast of Hot Toys Harley Quinn. Yes, I was actually going to make another figure for the new version of Harley, but this head is so bad that uh, you will see what I mean after I get rid of the paint. Most of the time, regular 99% IPA does the trick. Think of it as removing makeup on the skin with acetone. It's basically the same thing. Which makes me wonder sometimes if women would be better painters since they paint on their face all the time. But if 99% IPA doesn't work, you might need to bring in the big guns. Airbrush Cleaner, which is a bitch to some plastic but should be fine for head sculpts. And I think they use some kind of stickers for the eyes because even Airbrush Cleaner couldn't get rid of them. And upon closer inspection, it is clear that this recasted head is so bad in quality that I just don't think it's worth wasting paint on it. So abort mission! <laughs> Okay, that was a big waste of time. So for this head, let's just do the bare minimum. The truth is, I just got my second shot of the Pfizer vaccine and I'm feeling fucked. So my brain is finding all kinds of corners to cut. And honestly, this paint job is fine. The only issue is the eyes. So let's try something different. Let's just do an eyes repaint and see if that, that would be good enough. And I don't want to be the same as Hot Toys, which is looking to the side because that's what everyone has in their display. I want to be different. So this is the reference I would love to replicate. The problem with the scalp is that the mouth is not exactly the same. The bottom row of the teeth is not revealed enough and obviously the tongue is not as funky as I would like it to be. So when I was just trying to mess around with the mouth, I noticed that the teeth were actually casted separately and I could remove them. That's not creepy at all. But that gave me a brilliant idea. The second head that I have from the statue. I removed the mouth from that head and I stole the top row of her teeth and used it as the bottom row. If only dentistry is so easy, I wouldn't be here talking to you. But now we just need to attach the tongue. So I used some clay to just sculpt it into position. Finally, we can paint. Actually, as mentioned, the quality of the statue head wasn't as on par as this head, 
So the details of the teeth were not that great, but oh well, you can tell it's teeth, right? Good enough for me. The painting is also really simple, just pink to the gums and tongue. But before we add some gloss to make it shine, let's deal with those creepy eyes, okay? I want her to look at me straight in the eyes, seductively. So first, brown for the outline of the eyeballs, then blue for the color of the iris, and lastly, black for the pupil. Now, with the power of floor polish, Harley Quinn will wake up and seduce you. And of course, not to forget some saliva for her mouth. Oh right, the hair. It looks really messy right now, so I tried soaking them in water and kind of comb it around a little. I feel so manly right now. Speaking of which, I've actually heard of people refusing to collect figures with rooted hair because they feel like it's Barbie doll. Well, all I gotta say is you are missing out. But whatever, the head is ready, so it's assembly time. Nope. She got tattoos, yo. Which was something I was having trouble with because even though I have done a lot of Fison body painting with oil pastels, I haven't been able to write on silicone bodies because nothing sticks on silicone. Nothing. But I came across this set of water slide tattoos on eBay and the seller said it's not meant for silicone bodies but it's our best option so we shall see. Now you might wonder why this bottom half of the body is slightly dark. Well. I did a little test fit of the clothing and these bloody stockings left black markings all over her leg. This is so easy. It was horrible. Guys, make sure to wash any of your black clothing if you're going to wear it on a similar silicone body cause the dye might transfer. I've already tried my best to wash the body but this is the best I could achieve. So let's, let's just start tattooing. Basically, after cutting out the tattoo, you're supposed to submerge it in water for a while and the image will slide out and you can place it on the body wherever you want it. So to help me with the placement, I googled Harley Quinn tattoos and I deeply regret it. Nani? Saw a bunch of weird shit but after adding hot toys to the search terms, I found what I needed. So let's get to it. It might look a little shiny here but after spraying some matte clear coat, it actually blended quite well. Finally, to the outfit! This is everything that we have, so we just need to assemble it. No, wait, wait, wait. We have one more thing. Now we are ready. I might have ended off on a good note, but clearly you can see the tattoos peeling off. When I was dressing her up, the silicone body was stretching at the wrong places and they just couldn't stick. But I do like how a simple ice repaint can make so much difference. If you want to see how I make snake eyes, here is the video. If you are a Digimon fan, you might like this. Subscribe and I will see you next time.